Hey folks, Kiwi here, and I'm joined by Connor. Say hi. Hi. And we're just going to do uh, some more puzzle stuff, because we're having a blast. This is great. This is great. Say it's great. Yeah. No. Well, I will not. Damn it. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, but refuse to say that. It's. F I've been foiled once again. So, how long you think we're going to take? I don't know. Shouldn't be too much longer. Oh well, no, but give me yeah. give me give me your best guesstimate. I'm terrible at estimating things. You're what? apparently where, terrible where at everything. Where does this piece go? Is this... Okay, it goes that way around. Based uh, on based on the interactions I've had with you, you're apparently terrible at everything. Well, I don't know. I may or may not be terrible at everything. I just think I'm terrible at everything. You gotta have more confidence, man. Well, I don't know. Be proud of your well, accomplishments. Well, think, think about it this way. At the very least, I will pleasantly surprise myself. Yeah, but that's not much of a consolation prize. Sure it is. You just don't do it right. I oh. guess. Yeah. Too many people shit on themselves, though. It's it's really it's really discouraging. It's just like, well, I mean, if you're going to be bad to yourself, why? Why, you know? I get that. I just want more people to like themselves. Even just well, I one. I like myself plenty. Even I just, just don't think I'm all that great. <laughs> even just one small thing. You'd be like, "Hey, I'm good at dot dot dot," and then you know it's it's just fine. But a lot of people don't do that. Is this water? I think this is water. I think that's water. Aha. That's water down there. There you go. Like, I know I'm good at being adaptable. That's my thing. I, things happen, and I'm like, yeah, cool. I'm adaptable. I can say this. But a lot of people can't say what they're good at. So tell me right now, you, Connor, give me at least two things you're good at right now. God, really? I'm putting you on the spot. Well, I suppose putting things together is one. It doesn't have to be relevant to what we're currently doing. No, I know. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying, I also would not be enjoying my job if I was not good at putting things together. So put it, it that way. Assembling. Exactly. Okay. Well, that's, that's definitely good. It also helps with us with this here. At least to some extent. Hmm. Ha ha. There we go. Uh, give me something else then. Hmm. I did say two things. I know. I know, shut up! Thing is, you know, putting people under pressure like that. I mean, hey, it happens in the frankly, real world. I've never been great at giving myself praise. Not a that lot of people I will are. admit too freely. Not a lot of people are. Where the heck is that piece of oh. The thing is, there's ways to check your ego, but there's no ways to check your, your confidence issues in this world. Yeah. You gotta sort of be brought up by people. And, like, a lot of people... I'm, I'm friends with a lot of uh, people who suffer from depression. So I sort of have a good idea of... Well, not dealing with myself. I do ha I deal with it myself, but not, like, to the extent of everyone else. I'm mostly uh, a bystander. Uh, but I if, I, I'm used to dealing with uh, people who don't believe in themselves. And it's really disheartening, you know? Yeah, I get that. I definitely do. So I try my best. See what, see how I can help, you know? Yep. I say you know a lot. Well, I suppose, I mean, that, that's, you know, that's kind of your catchphrase. What did you say? Well, I'm just saying. Just saying. I swear, well, that's my brother's catchphrase. It's freaking hilarious. He, he he does say that quite a bit. I wouldn't call it hilarious. Huh? What were you saying? Oh, nothing. I interrupted you. No, whatever. You get interrupted on a daily basis. I've learned to not care. That doesn't make it good. No, but, you know, take those things in stride. <laughs> or else so life's going to feel like shit. I suppose. Does that actually go there? Yes. Yep. Yes, it does. We're doing this, though. This is uh, a harder one, and we're doing it far far better than uh, than, than John's face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. 
Again, we could do. Yeah, I'll just start moving some of these closer to the forge. I have to go out so far to find them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I actively encourage people to uh, to talk good about themselves because not enough people do it. Exactly. I totally understand that, but the thing is, I'm not sure how I can be part of the solution. You know what I mean? Oh, I absolutely understand that. It took me a very long time, not only to start talking good about myself, but also to start encouraging other people to do it themselves. Well, good grief. I, I will quite often, you know, encourage people on, you know, telling them what they're actually, you know, pretty decent at, because I, I don't know, I can see that sort of thing in other people, I just can't see it myself. They say that your best qualities are taped to your back. Which yeah, is to, yeah. Which is to say that other people can see them, but you cannot. Although I swear some days that's hidden under the cosmic kick me sign. Jeez. Hmm. You know, like, hitting every light red. Yeah. Uh, for, for some people, it's a thing that happens occasionally. Uh... For my family, it seems to happen quite a lot. And then... You know Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will... I've heard of such law. Well, I think we've kind of got a little addendum to that, in that um, whatever will cause the most problems will inevitably go wrong first. Ah, so priorities. <laughs> Murphy is taking priority on your family, is what you're saying. Eh... In some cases, yes. <laughs> yeah, I used to I used to believe in some sort of family curse or whatever. I think a lot of people do. Oh, definitely. But hold on, hold on. We're about to get this puzzle. Oh, yeah. And... Boom! Leave it. Don't flip that the table good. yet. Don't. I'm not. Okay, I'm not. good. Look I'm at the... I'm admiring the Look the at the box. Put into this. Look at the box. Like that's, that's beautiful because this is art I found on the internet. And it's now on a puzzle box, and a puzzle we assembled ourselves. Yep. I'm happy with ourselves here. We did Indeed. good. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Now so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's flip the table and do an actual game now. Or at least try to. <laughs> well, let's take a look here. What, what games we got? We can do, uh, we can do dominoes. Well, that was, I don't know. Want to try that again? <laughs> We could do yeah. poker, or one of us could play solitaire. We could definitely play, uh, like, chess or aversi or checkers. Hmm. Or, here's an idea. Let's screw around with the uh, the super fight. Oh. What happened? Oh. What? Lo oh, what? there we go. I was, I was really concerned for a second. What even is this? Oh, no, I'm loading. Of course, but... Oh, whoa, whoa, what the heck? It oh, wow. Um, so super fight is a game is a car is a game of absurd arguments it's essentially know, but huh? oh, hold on what one big problem here you can't really play it with two players that's why i said screw around <laughs> Jeez, you're not even listening okay okay i just want to make sure well in that case you know let's dump you, please oh, there we go <laughs> i broke it I yeah broke it so basically what we do is we shuffle, and then just pick random crap and throw it at each other. Okay. My tag team is a Velociraptor and an alien. What's your tag team? Wait for it. First I one. Have... Oh, hold on. The first one you flip is your your main. The second is your your second. Yeah, apparently my main is a literally insane clown posse. Sounds awesome. The secondary. Oh God, is meatloaf. <laughs> the band or a loaf of meat? Um, I'm going with the singer. Okay. Just because. Oh, meatloaf is a singer. I thought it was a band. No, it's like one guy. Yeah. All right, I mean, then we got the band to back him up, but it's one guy. And then we pick three cards for our main and one for our secondary. Okay. And, and let's see. Uh, whoops. Hold on. Let's see, so... Hey, hey, oh, oh god. Oh god. Literally the same clown <laughs> posse with super jump. My Velociraptor has clothes that are way too tight. Literally wearing beer goggles. Can't see. Oh no. 
and constantly taking oh, no. selfies. The bottom half of the literally insane clown posse is... A sumo wrestler! <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Especially since they have super jump. Yeah. You got to what Meatloaf has. Jump good. All right, so Wait, my... What does your alien have? Well, hold on. My Velociraptor has clothes that are way too tight. You can't see, but he's also constantly taking selfies. So... I think you just handicapped yourself in the worst way possible. Don't don't worry about it. And my alien has an invisibility cloak, <laughs> so my alien is alien. Yeah. Meatloaf has That's... a hostage. <laughs> is your hostage the, the sumo wrestler? I don't know anymore. Pick, pick a hostage. Pick a hostage. Okay, out of the... Oh, no. Yep. The hostage is... <laughs> well, that... Oh my god! <laughs> I love this. Well, now we we know what he did after that second album. It's less a fight and more fan. It's more fan art fuel. Somebody draw any of what we Hold draw. On. I've got a blue deck. Oh yeah, the blue deck is, I believe, uh... locations where. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we're doing all of this in a deep sea. The, these characters are chilling in a deep sea submarine. We got what our. What do we even do? <laughs> Don't worry about it. They're they're clearly on an expedition. Connor, we're both writers. We should set the scene. Oh God. So uh... our Velociraptor alien clown posse, which is also half sum sumo wrestler, the entire clown posse is just coming off of the body at the waist, <laughs> and Meatloaf are they stole the devil and they're in a submarine trying to escape. Uh, hold on, who are they escaping? <laughs> They are escaping the Terminator. Yes. Uh -huh. And they have to work together in order to uh, save the world. Yeah, totally. Let, let, let's go with that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. You got a better idea for why this is happening? No. Give me your best, Although, give me your best scenario. I, I, I could suggest something along the lines of, oh, I don't know, a Russian sub-commander trying to defect. But well, I think I that's mean, already been done. There are there's four people here, so what's going on? Give me the story. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get no, no. close. And I get... think you did pretty well there. Alright, alright. If that's the case, then let's throw it away. Yeah, there you got the idea. Don't throw Who's it off that? the table, it'll come back. Come on, man. It stacked fairly well. You just you just put it over there. Alright, so now I guess uh should we do another four or another two? Um well, let's just throw one at each other. Okay. I've got Jack Bauer. And I got Darth Vader. All right. So Jack Bauer and Darth Vader, which, hold on. We need three, at we need two attributes for each person. Yeah, apparently I get to draw and play two random attributes from the deck after that. Okay, also riding this motorcycle. Draw and play, oh. This In a hot air balloon it. and... Oh, jeez. I don't think this one really works, so we're just going to throw that one away, and this is just what's going on now. Exactly, because that got me those other two. So, he's riding a motorcycle in a hot, in air, a hot balloon, air balloon, and he's ten stories tall. Is everything ten stories tall? Uh, is it, like, uh, to no scale? To is it to scale? Or... <laughs> Why is Jack Bauer ten stories tall? Riding a motorcycle in a hot air balloon. Well, no, no, let's start with the basics. Why is he ten feet tall? Or ten stories tall? Know. Um, mutant. <laughs> How original. Come on now. <laughs> totally. And they're on an aircraft carrier flight deck. So all this on an air... Well, I mean, I guess that's where the hot air balloon comes in. So, but not really? <laughs> not really. <laughs> well, that's... that They landed Real the hot air balloon. Is, why does Darth Vader... Why is Darth Vader capable of controlling magnetism? The Force, obviously... He assimilated Magneto using the Force, and now <laughs> he is both. <laughs> also, he's literally wearing his heart on the sleeve. Oh, it just wow, says, okay. just literally wearing heart on the sleeve. That's Magneto's heart. Okay, well that would explain the magnet powers. Yeah, I mean, he, he channels through the heart. And they're on an aircraft carrier because um, the Avengers. They're fighting the Avengers right now. <laughs> so they're not even fighting each other. No, no, no. We, we, we're, they're fighting the Avengers, and they oh, got the three-way fight. And, then. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, no. These two are teaming up, and their random attribute that they share together is that can't 
can stop time while holding breath. So th they can both do this against the Avengers. Uh-huh. Um... I think the lung capacity of a ten-story tall Jack Bauer would be uh, would provide you with a lot of time stop. Yeah, I don't think Darth Vader would be able to. He kind of has a respirator. He's, he can't hold his breath very long. <laughs> That's okay. As long as one of them's doing it, it's fine. That's true, because they're, they're a team. Well, one's okay. doing it, the other's frozen in time. <laughs> Good. Grief. All right, next, uh, next Avengers sequel right there. Yep, totally. All right, let's get another team of four going. This is the best use of super fight ever. <laughs> and two per, I guess. Alright, so I got Evil Doll and Boy, Mammoth. Gandhi. And a moose. So Gandhi is with his, his pets here. <laughs> Gandhi's got an evil doll. Crazy. Yeah, he's got an evil doll and two animals for reasons. So the woolly mammoth and the moose have teamed up. Mm -hmm. Why does this sound like Ice Age? Because reasons. Holy Mammoth is distracted by shiny This is things. Ice Age in Canada. And it wearing clothes that are way too big. How do you get clothes that are too big for a woolly mammoth? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's What'd you do, skin an even bigger woolly mammoth? It's fine. <laughs> Bottom, why do you keep, oh, why no, do you keep no, getting no. those cards? I don't know. Oh, bottom. the bottom half of the moose is the pirate. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Probably. But, oh, no, wait. It's okay. It's in a giant jet fighter. That's the most terrifying thing I've ever heard. So this evil doll is armed with a bow and unlimited arrows. That's kind of terrifying. It's already terrifying. It's an evil doll. And steal one attribute from your opponent. But we don't have opponents, so clearly... Oh, that's wrong. There we go. So clearly... Um, yeah, whatever. The is also armed with a shotgun. <laughs> this evil doll knows what's what, man. Also, quick question: How is the evil doll wielding both the shotgun and the bow and arrow? Because evil. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Hold on. Okay. Gandhi is steal one attribute. God damn it! Gandhi stole an attribute from the deck. It is locked in a shark cage. Okay. With his pets. And he's made of sand. Gandhi is made of sand. Well, that kind of negates the shark cage. Doesn't it doesn't it? negate anything. He's just made of mud now. <laughs> and um, who are these? Who are the? Who is Gandhi and his friends fighting right now? Hold on. These two have teamed up in order to take on Gandhi and his squad. So, whoops! Don't put the cards on top of each other. So, got, so first they're fighting a mermaid, who is armed with an impenetrable shield. So that kind of negates the, the evil doll a little. And is made of paper. Good. All right, what, what about... Wait, uh, wait, what, hold on. If we glue Gandhi to the mermaid... Oh my god. We have sandpaper. Yes! <laughs> Alright, what's what's your... Who, who's teamed up with the mermaid here? Lucha Libre Wrestler. Okay. It that is, is a pinata. <laughs> And is armed with a long electrified whip. Sweet. This is the That's best. That's going to prove interesting. This is the best team up match of all time. I think the uh, moose pirate kind of has it though. Because he's got a jet fighter. I suppose it depends on the location. Where That's are true. we? We are in a dungeon full of dragons. That jet fighter is useless. Well, I don't know. You can still kind of, you know shoot things that are directly in front of it. Yeah, how are you going to get the jet fighter in the cave in the first place? Well, it's already in the dungeon full of dragons, because the moose is there, and the moose Why is Why would the dragons the hoard a jet fighter? Also, how do you get the dragons in there? They... If you get the dragons in there, you can get the fighter in there. Yeah, that's, that's a good point, actually. I don't know, they've been there for thousands of years. Maybe there was a cave in since then. I don't know. Either way... You've got a woolly mammoth in there, too. So, so... who's who's winning this fight? Probably the moose alone, but the dungeon thing does kind of throw that off, so yeah. I'd say the evil doll. Well, no, it's it's this side versus this side. No, I know, I'm just saying, it, it's, it's definitely, you know, this side. It's just, I think the evil doll's kind of got it a little bit better than anything else at this point. That's true, he, he has all the weaponry. Uh, he can't he can't fight the mermaid though. Just, that's just that's just a thing. Well, just because the mermaid has an impenetrable shield does not necessarily mean it's going to do 
well against multiple shots from a shotgun. It's followed by unlimited ammo. True, but it's not, you know, it does not absorb all impact. Ah, that's true, I guess. Also, it's a mermaid. And? It's a little out of its element being in a dungeon. But it's made of paper. It doesn't need water. <laughs> That'd be no, kind of counterproductive. Mermaid. Therefore, it has the fish-like bottom half, so it doesn't do well on land. It's a paper-like bottom half. So, better question, why are they fighting? Um, hello, they're trying to get the dragon loot. So these two teams came across the dungeon, uh, to, like, separately? Sure. Yeah, let's go with that. So why is the mermaid and the luchadorch teaming up to get the dragon horde? Because <laughs> uh, they were there first. That doesn't... They walked in about ten minutes before everyone else showed Yeah, up. but that doesn't explain why they want the treasure. Or did they just walk in without realizing it? Everyone's after the freaking treasure. It's a dragon horde treasure. Duh. Well, how'd they hear about it? You don't just, I don't know. You don't just walk around and be like, hey, there's a dragon horde in that cave. Tavern. <laughs> well, let's That's see how who, every good quest starts. Let's see who <laughs> in a local tavern. Let's see who's running the tavern. The Statue of Liberty is running that tavern. Well, okay, man. <laughs> Best tavern. All right, so it's been another 20 minutes. I believe we shall call it here, folks. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this insanity. Oh, you you've picked up everything. That was the point. Oh god. It's all Hold on. I need to put it all inside the box. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Kiwi, he's been Connor, and you've been great too. Uh, please have yourself a delightful day, for you've earned it. If you ever feel the need to draw any of what we custom created, uh, have have a go. Have, have a delightful, fun time. Um, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and you have yourself a good day. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, God.